Hello students, today we are going to study about converting fractions into decimals. As you all know, a decimal is another way of expressing a fraction. So, at first we will see what are the decimal fractions. A fraction with the denominator 10, 100 or 1000 or, or so on is called a decimal fraction. Why these are called the decimal fractions? Because these fractions can be changed easily into a decimal. So, let's see the example how to convert the fraction into decimals. So, see by this example 5 upon 10, we will write it as 0 0.5. So, there is a simple trick to change it. We will count the zeros, the number of zeros in the denominator and equal to the number of zero, the decimal places should be there in the answer. See the another example, suppose I am writing here 73 upon 100. So, how many zeros are there in the denominator? 2. So, how many decimal uh, places should be there? 2. And how many dig digits we have? 2. So, the point will be before two digits. This will be the, this trick is applicable only in the decimal fractions. Means fractions with the denominator 10, 100, 1000 or 10,000. See one more example here. Suppose I am writing here. Now, in the numerator we have four digits and in the denominator we have just two zeros. So, we will copy all the digits here. And we'll count two places from the right side and we'll put the point. One and two, we'll put the point. One more example here. Six upon thousand. Now, three zeros are there, but we have only one digit. So, after the point, three digits should be there and we have only one. So, right after the decimal, we'll give two zeros. 10th and 100th will be 0. Sometime we are getting questions in the form of mixed numbers. So, how to do these numbers? Fifteen whole 1 upon 10. As you all know, in the decimal also, before the decimal, the part is called whole number. So, whole number will be before the point and after the point, 1 upon 10, point 0.1. So, 15.1. The another way to do it, 10 multiplied by 15, 150 plus 1, 151 upon 10. So, again we are getting the same answer 15.1. One more example for it. 9 whole 3 upon 100. So, whole number will be before the point. After the point, how many digits should be there? 2 and we have only 1. So, we will give 1 0. 9.03. This was about the decimal fractions. Now, what if we are getting another type of fractions? Like 2 upon 5. This is not the decimal fraction. So, what will we do? First method, we can change it into a decimal fraction. So, 5 2 is 10. If we are multiplying by 2 in the denominator, definitely we have to multiply in the numerator also. The answer is 4 upon 10 and the decimal will be 0 0.4. For this method, we have to learn some combinations like 5, 2 are 10. Suppose the question is 3 upon 20. So, 20 cannot be convert, we cannot con uh, convert 20 into 10. So, we will go to 100. 
So what will be the combination of 25 to make it 100? 25 fours are. So 6 fours are. 24 upon 100 equal to 0 0.24. Same questions we'll do by another method. In this method, we are dividing our numerator by our denominator. As you all know, 2 is smaller than 5. So, two zero, uh, five, 5 zero are 0. Point. As you are going, giving point in the quotient 1, 0, we are getting free. Yes. So, 5 fours are 20. So, same answer we got. Like this for the second question we will do. We will divide our numerator by the denominator. So, you can't divide 3 by 20, 20, 0 are 0. Give point 0, 21s are 20. What left? 10. Because of point 1, 0, 3, 25s are 100. So, this is the another way to find out the change, converting the fraction into decimal. One more example here. Suppose the question is 10 upon 3. So, we don't have the combination of 3. So, what will we do? We will divide the numerator by the denominator 3. 3s are 9. 1 because of point zero three threes are 9 because of point the 0 three threes are 9 continuously it is repeating in this answer your uh, the number 3 is repeating continuously in this case we are writing after two or three digits we can increase the number by 1 and we can leave the answer. We can write it 3.334 or we can write it 3.34. So, these are some ways by which we can convert a fraction into a decimal. I hope this video will be helpful for you all. Thank you so much.